What's up everybody? This is your boy Gordo the Loco and today I'm going to be doing a crazy cooking video. So everybody knows it is the month of November and on this month they do all kind of things. Some people do no shave November. Some people do no peanuts November. Peanuts minus the P. I don't know. I ain't never done that one before or the shaving one because I've never shaved. But anyway, i tell you something I do on November, though, and that's eat some Thanksgiving. I do need to be losing some weight, but golly, November also comes with no diet November. That means for the whole entire month of November, ain't nobody dieting. Ain't nobody thinking about dieting. I don't even think people diet in the month of December. Taylor, do people diet in November or December? No. No? I know I need to. Today we're gonna to make something really, really cool. It's gonna be a little bit different. My dad used to like to call this the poor man's Thanksgiving. I don't know why, because chicken and turkey probably cost around the same thing whenever you're buying multiple chickens. But what my dad would do is, is throughout the year sometimes, he would make a Thanksgiving dinner and he would use chicken. My dad loved chicken. And he would do traditional stuffing. He would do the chickens. He would do the uh, the mashed potatoes and gravy, um, everything just like it would be with Thanksgiving, but we would use chickens and that's what we would do for dinner some nights throughout the year. So what we got, we got two boxes of stove top, real cheap. It's poor man's Thanksgiving. That's why everything's so cheap. You're gonna need a 12 inch Dutch oven. You're gonna need two chickens. Get your chickens right. Got a can of cranberry sauce, two cans of turkey gravy, Little bag of taters. Bag I'm gonna boil these up, make some mashed potatoes. Probably won't boil all of them up. And got some Hawaiian sweet rolls. So that's it, a Thanksgiving meal. You can feed your whole entire family for less than $20. But uh, it's gonna be real fun, man. Let's get to cooking. Oh, now I'm sitting here with my little homie and we got a little fire going back there. So I forgot to tell them something. What's that? We cooking in the fire. What? Dude, we cook it in the fireplace. Like, I took the rack out. That's why I took the rack out. That's why I'm standing up. Because we cooking in the fireplace. Let's get it. We putting the Dutch oven in the fireplace. Poor man's daggone Thanksgiving. And that's how we're going to do it, y'all. All right, y'all. Now what she's doing is, is she's taking that stuffing and putting it inside the chicken. I'm going to go ahead and put her in there. We got the stuffing, we got the seasoning, got a couple onions in there, put a little bit of water at the bottom, not much. And we got that fire over there trying to get it. So, uh, yeah, let's put it on in there. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you. We got the coals on the top, and we got the coals on the bottom. That's how you cook with a Dutch oven, baby. All right, y'all, we're done. The chicken's done, the thermometer's good. That uh, thermometer's sitting on about 180. And uh, I'm telling you, Pooski over here twerking, all that type of stuff. Pook over here twerking, son. <laughs> but uh, this thing on 180, man, I'm telling you. Hey, if I can get girls to start twerking by cooking in this thing, I might start cooking in this thing every night. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. Let's get this thing to the table. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like. How about? Yeah, my red Yeah. <gasps> Got it looking real good. Woo, how about? Yes. I'm telling you. Yes. Oh, fish pump. Oh, yeah. What? Fish pump, fish pump. Fish pump, fish pump. <laughs> Got a little fist bump for him. Look at all that smoking, boy. So you And that's it. Anybody can do it. It's real simple to do. Real easy to do. Go get your Dutch oven and get cooking. I love you. 